hear me and hear me good when I tell you guys this. First and foremost, black people watching this, people of color watching this. Yes, our justice system has failed us again. Yes, I agree. But peep game, that same justice system did what it was designed to do. Protect who they think are worthy of protection and not defend people who they don't think are worthy of protection. Shipboy Boy Dame, subscribe to Dame's World. And some of you may have seen what I'm referring to. Dallas police officer Amber Geiger in Dallas went into someone else's home while they were chilling and shot him dead. Shot a black man dead. Both of them, Gene Young, 20-something-year-old accountant, doing absolutely nothing, nothing wrong. She was convicted yesterday or two days ago. Ten years. A ten-year sentence for murder. And, of course, people that look like me are outraged because we know motherfuckers who had possession. Weed possession that did more than 10 years. Nonviolent crimes more than 10 years. By all accounts, as a person of color, we get tried as adults more frequently than people not of color. We get convicted for the same crime more often than people not of color. We get longer sentences than people not of color. So our justice system has an explicit bias against people of color. So if you're outraged by what happened, anger I understand. I'm angry because to see our justice system fail us again, of course it would provoke anger to someone who actually cares about the African plight, the African diaspora, the injustice that goes on. But dare I say... You shouldn't have expected this. When I saw that she got convicted guilty waiting for the sentence, I expected a light sentence because that justice system protects two types of people. And that officer, or coincidentally, was both those types of people. A European descent, like I said, non-white people are believable to the judge and jury. When you're a black person and you, let's just put it like this. You're a black person and you went up in somebody's home. That's already burglary, intrusion, whatever you want to call it. And you killed that person and you go to the stand and you use that as your defense. You have no fucking chance, not for manslaughter. You have no chance for 10 year sentence with five years eligible for parole. You're getting 25 to life. They're throwing the book at you, and they're actually disrespected because you tried to fight the case. Something that was clear-cut and concise. How dare you try to fight the case? So we really going to throw the book at your ass. So my gripe is with the justice system first. First and foremost. Her, of course, as well, you are not doing protocol. You are stepping beyond your bounds you're off duty so of course my gripe is her but i always bring the gripe to a system because when you individualize it when you say one bad apple that's the narrative every time a cop goes rogue and shoots a black person that's one bad apple no she ain't one bad apple she's a she's a product of our system that condones this when cops do it before her and get paid paid leave it justifies the position to shoot a unarmed black man, unarmed black woman. It justifies the belief that our system believes these cops whenever they say anything. They're sworn to protect and serve. So that predisposition alone, our justice system favors that. So it's not just the skin privilege that she has, but that badge privilege. When we talk about the justice system, cops are a part of that shit. 
she's part of the justice system. So they're protecting someone in the justice system. And she has that skin privilege. So for one, my whole thing is you be naive to think that our justice system favors you if you look like me or if you're brown, even a yellow man. They don't favor you. We're under a Eurocentric system that favors European. That's just common sense. That's common logic. But aside from that, but aside from the obvious explicit bias, let's talk about the judge. Again, another product of this erroneous system. You hugged the murderer. You hugged the murderer. Now, I have no gripe. Not much gripe when the brother of the victim hugs the murderer. You know why? He has more of an attachment to that situation. He knows his brother more than I do To for him to have said he would have wanted this. So maybe he was acting out of his brother's empathy, let alone his own empathy. Our people are people of empathy. Let's face it. That can be our biggest weakness. But you've seen it historically. They lynch, they hang, they kill, they throw rocks. We don't get violent, vulgar back. We actually even feel sorry sometimes. As you've seen there, look up Stockholm Syndrome. That's why I say it could be a hindrance as well. But I'm never going to say my natural empathy is horrible. If them niggas got empathetic like he was, then we'd have a better world. But a lot of people are under the narrative, oh, you shouldn't have hugged them, you should have want vengeance or revenge we don't stoop to their level and i'm not saying in a black or white spectrum i'm saying in a spiritual non-spiritual spectrum when you got cops killing unarmed people and justifying it that's not a spiritual thing we don't justify shit like that spiritual beings so i'm not gonna knock a nigga for that but i will knock the judge because in your position of authority think about the message you're sending You hugged a cop who killed a black man. (laughs) You hugged a cop who killed a black man. You felt sorry for the cop who killed the black man in your position to incriminate. In your position to be impartial. You're not impartial. You showed your bias. And it doesn't matter if she's she's a black judge. Listen to me. It's not the individuals. It's the system that creates the individuals. It's not one cop. It's a system that makes these type of cops. How many times is a cop going to have to say, I was scared. I was in fear of an unarmed black man. For you to not get a system perpetuates that fear of a black man. Stop thinking so narrow and saying, oh, it's just her. It's just an individual. It's just some people are like that. No, we have a system in place that makes people like that. So that's where my attack lies. The justice system. The system, by and large, the um, three-branch system, politics, our economy, everything has its explicit, I say explicit, but to y'all it might be implicit biases. Our schooling, it's everywhere. So, we just really have to, as citizens who don't adhere to this nonsense, we have to gather a more collective to acknowledge our justice system ain't shit. And as much infiltration of good people go in that justice system, it's still perpetuated by bad people. It's still an agenda to protect their allies, which are the police, in spite of killing. And that's the thing. She was initially charged with manslaughter. So that tells you, off the top, they believed her. It was an accident. But the public eye will already riot if you say that shit is manslaughter you have to call it murder but guess what she got a manslaughter sentence 10 years five she's gonna get out in five years i don't want her to rot i don't want her to die i'm not a vengeful person but i do want that same reciprocity when a brother is under that same duress in court when a person that looks like me is under that same situation in court it's a clear-cut bias That's really all I got to say about it. It's sad. Condolences to the family, to the brother, to all those who lost to the community. It's just another sick reality that America has to deal with. It's your boy, Dane.